Picture this, it's 1974, and you find yourself in the dimly lit embrace of a movie theater, the scent of buttered popcorn lingering in the air. The screen flickers to life, and before you unfolds a tale that would etch itself into the corridors of your memory the longest yard. As Burt Reynolds graces the screen with his roguish charm, and the gridiron becomes a battlefield for both wit and brawn, you're transported to a realm where football meets rebellion in a cinematic dance. The first encounter with this celluloid masterpiece wasn't just a viewing, it was an immersion into a world where the clash of helmets mirrored the clash of societal norms. Remember that adrenaline surge as you witnessed the inmates turned athletes defy the odds on the gritty football field. The raw intensity of the game mirrored the intensity of a society, at odds with its own rules. Now, let's dive into the backstage of this iconic production, where the reels spun tales beyond the celluloid. Did you know that the prison used for filming was an actual penitentiary in Georgia, adding an uncanny authenticity to the on-screen rebellion? And those bone-crushing tackles were just movie magic the actors endured rigorous training, turning gridiron novices into convincing football players. As the narrative unfolds, the unexpected humor woven into the script serves as a reminder that even in the harshest of environments, laughter can be a beacon of resilience. The echoes of that timeless soundtrack, the palpable camaraderie among the characters, these are the elements that transform The Longest Yard from a mere movie into a shared experience etched in the annals of film history. So, as you reflect on that first rendezvous with the 1974 classic, let the memories resurface like the crackling film reel. The Longest Yard isn't just a movie, it's a journey, a rebellion, a symphony of unlikely alliances, and, most importantly, a celebration of the human spirit. And now, armed with these nuggets of trivia, you're poised to relive the magic or perhaps experience it for the first time. The stage is set, the reels are rolling, and the gridiron awaits time to explore the random facts that breathe life into the celluloid wonder that is the longest yard. The Longest Yard, Gridiron Grit, and Gridiron Giants in the gritty world of The Longest Yard. Some of the actors brought more than just their acting chops to the gridiron. Burt Reynolds, the film's lead, wasn't just playing a football player, he had been one. Reynolds, a Florida State University alum, was once drafted by the Baltimore Colts. Mike Henry, known for his role in the film, had a stint with the Pittsburgh Steelers and Los Angeles Rams. Joe Cap, the quarterback in the movie, had played the same position for the Minnesota Vikings. Ray Nitschke, a Green Bay Packers legend, traded his linebacker jersey for a spot in the film. Even Purvis Atkins, with experience in the Los Angeles Rams, Washington Redskins, and Oakland Raiders, joined the star-studded football ensemble. A peculiar moment in the film highlights the physicality of Richard Keel, who played one of the Mean Machine players. In a dressing room scene, Keel struggles to fit into a regular-sized helmet, emphasizing his towering stature. Later, in game scenes, keen-eyed viewers will notice that his helmet design differs from that of his fellow players, a subtle but interesting detail. Behind the scenes, an unexpected chapter unfolded after the crew and cast departed from Georgia State Prison. As reported by Sports Illustrated's Rick Tellender in the Oct. 17, 1988 issue, the inmates, using the equipment left behind, challenged Georgia State troopers to a football game. The result, a resounding 66-0 victory for the inmates, putting an end to prison football in Georgia. The Longest Yard isn't just a classic sports film, it's a tale woven with the experiences of those who lived and breathed the game. Whether it's the real football pros turned actors or the unexpected post-filming football showdown, the movie's legacy extends beyond the real. In the hard-hitting world of The Longest Yard, where football is more than a game, the players, both on and off-screen, leave an indelible mark. In the 1974 movie The Longest Yard, Richard Keel, known for his towering stature, considered his role in the film as one of his proudest moments in his career. He attributed this a list opportunity as his breakthrough, providing him the chance to shine and subsequently land a role in the TV series Barbary Coast. Heel's acclaim for this particular part underscores the significance of The Longest Yard in shaping his career trajectory. On another note, Michael Fox, the actor who portrayed the announcer in the movie, took personal initiative in crafting his commentary. He not only brought his acting skills to the table but also contributed his own words to the broadcast, adding a touch of authenticity to his performance. Fox's involvement in shaping his character's narrative reflects the dedication 
and creativity that went into making The Longest Yard. Moreover, producer Albert S. Ruddy revealed an interesting tidbit about the film. According to him, the story shared by the protagonist, Paul Crew, about his two blind parents holds a connection to former NFL quarterback Jim Plunkett. This subtle reference adds a layer of depth to the storyline, showcasing the film's attention to detail and its nod to real-life sports figures. In conclusion, The Longest Yard not only stands as a classic sports film, but also serves as a pivotal moment in the careers of its cast members. Richard Keel's pride in his role, Michael Fox's personal touch to the commentary, and the subtle references to sports icons collectively contribute to the movie's lasting impact on both its performers and audiences. In 1974, the movie The Longest Yard made history as one of the first football films to showcase a wide receiver standing at the line of scrimmage. Until the late 1960s, receivers, then known as flankers, adopted a stance akin to offensive linemen with hands on the ground. This departure marked a cinematic shift in depicting football dynamics on the big screen. Governor Jimmy Carter played a pivotal role in facilitating the film's production in Georgia. His support provided a favorable environment for the cast and crew contributing to the movie's success and establishing a precedent for the state's future involvement in the film industry. Behind the scenes, the relationship dynamics between director Robert Aldrich and actor Michael Conrad added a compelling layer to the production. Referred to as the Polish princess by Aldrich, Conrad faced insults throughout filming. However, a pivotal scene between Paul Crew and Scarborough changed the narrative. Impressed, Aldrich rewarded Conrad with a simple yet heartfelt gesture a candy bar, symbolizing acknowledgement of exceptional work. The incident marked a turning point, ceasing Aldrich's use of the nickname and leaving Conrad moved to tears. In the annals of filmmaking, The Longest Yard stands not only as a sports classic, but also as a testament to the evolving portrayal of football on screen. The collaboration between Governor Carter, the groundbreaking depiction of wide receivers, and the behind-the-scenes dynamics exemplify the multifaceted nature of this iconic film. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey of The Longest Yard, let the echoes of its gridiron tales linger in the corridors of your mind. Imagine the roar of the crowd, the clash of titans on the field and the subtle symphony of camaraderie that transcends the bars of a penitentiary. This film, a tapestry woven with humor, grit, and the resilience of the human spirit, extends an invitation to introspection. As you reflect on the riveting narrative, delve into your own personal connection with this classic. Was it the underdog triumph that resonated with your own victories? Perhaps the camaraderie mirrored your bonds, be they forged on the turf or in the crucible of life. Share your thoughts, your memories, and the fragments of your soul that found a reflection in the characters etched in celluloid. Whether you are a seasoned fan or a newcomer to this gridiron epic, your perspective is a brushstroke on the canvas of collective appreciation. The Longest Yard transcends time, weaving a tale that invites us to consider our own metaphorical prisons and victories. So, open the door to your cinematic vault of memories and release the floodgates of reflection. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic odyssey through the corridors of a cinematic classic. Your thoughts are the beating heart that keeps these tales alive. Until we meet again in the real world, revel in the echoes of the longest yard, and the resonance it finds within you.